Moving on to question six. Now, we have a question here, which is in relation to complex numbers, and more specifically, complex numbers in terms of geometry, okay? So, we're given this complex number here, 6 plus 2i, and this is in terms of um, an argon diagram, okay? So, these are the points A, B, and C, where this is the point A. The other two points are the other vertices of an equilateral triangle with its center at the origin. And then part A just jumps in straight away asking us to find the other points, B and C. So I really like this question. It's certainly not walking the park, but it, it challenges you to think about what's actually going on. So let's jump straight into this and have a look and see if we can solve it. So 6A, what have we actually got here? So we've got the complex number 6 plus 2i, and we're asked to find the other vertices. And its center is at the origin, okay? So let me just draw an equilateral triangle over here for now. Okay, so if you've got an equilateral triangle, If this is my vertex A, this is B, and then this is C. If I rotate this 120 degrees counterclockwise, what would happen? Because we've only got one complex number here, one vertex of this triangle. We need the other two vertices. So how are we going to get that? Well, it's important that it's an equilateral triangle with its center of the origin. What it means is that we can rotate this equilateral triangle and we can obtain the other vertices, okay? So this point A here, so if we rotate it 120 degrees, counterclockwise, this is what we'd get. So we'd get A here, my C would go up here, and then my B would be here, okay? So we're going to use this fact here that we can rotate, okay? So it's looking at rotations involving complex numbers. So what we've got, if we just quickly draw it over here, or what we've got currently, so kind of make sure yours looks a bit neater than mine. Mine's a bit uh, a bit rough. We've got the first point here, so it's going to be 6 plus 2i. So let's just say it's there, okay? So that's 6 plus 2i, so that's the point A. We need to work out the other points, B and C. So what we're going to need to use is the rotation matrix. So the rotation matrix... That will be equal to, so remembering this, this will be cos theta, cos theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, and then cos theta. Okay, and remember we're rota rotating this 120 degrees, and then to get the other point, we then need to rotate by 240, or you could rotate your last one that you worked out again by 120. Both will give you the correct answer. So, if I write down my rotation matrix, and don't forget, we're going to rotate this. We're rotating 6 plus 2i, okay? So that would be times by 6 and 2, okay? So, cos theta minus sine theta, sine theta and cos theta. Only two now is put our feet in, which is 120. So what we're going to be doing now is cos 120, Minus sine 120, sine 120, and then cos 120, times by 6, 2. Okay, because this is our complex number, 6 plus 2i. Now I can write these in terms of their exact form here. So this, nice and easy, cos 120, that'll be minus a half. Uh, my minus sine 120, that'll be minus root 3 over 2. Sine 120, root 3 over 2. So I'm kind of running out of room. I've done this a little bit too big. And then finally, again, minus a half. So that's my exact form. Again, times by 6, 2. So don't put this on your calculator because we want to keep it in exact form. Because notice in the answer, or in the question, sorry, it asks us to give the answer in the form x plus i, y. Okay, so... We need this in its exact form here. Well, times in this now, what are we going to get? Well, this, so I do this row times this column. So minus a half times six, so that would be minus three. So I'll put this as my upper element, so that would be minus three. And then I've got minus root three over two times two. So I'm just going to get left with minus root three, minus root three. Okay, hopefully this is nice and easy. Again, now doing the bottom row times this column. So, root 3 over 2 times 6. So, I'm going to get 3 root 3. Okay? So, 3 root 3. And then finally, if I do minus a half times 2, I'm going to get minus 1. So, that's what I get left with. Now, 
this is my real part, this will be my imaginary part. So writing it in the form x plus i, y, this will just simply be just going to be minus 3 minus root 3 plus 3 root 3 minus 1 lots of i. And there we have it. That's one of our other um, vertices. That's probably b if we call it b. It doesn't matter which one we call it. And then finally, we're going to do the same again, but instead of 120, we need to do it with 240, okay? So it's going to be cos 240 minus sine 240 sine 240 cos 240. Again, we're going to times it by 6, 2. Doing this now, again, write this in exact form. This will be this will be minus a half. This time, no, this won't be negative, but it'll be root 3 over 2. This one will be negative, minus root 3 over 2. And then this will be minus a half again. Okay, so that's good. And then we're going to times it by 6, 2. And simply doing this again, what we're going to get, so we're going to get minus a half times 6, so that'll be minus 3. So minus 3. Root 3 over 2 times 2, so I'm just going to get plus root 3. Okay, and then doing the imaginary part here, minus root 3 over 2 times 6, so I'm going to get minus 3 root 3. So I'll just be careful with your signs, minus 3 root 3, and then minus a half times 2, I'm just going to get minus 1. So this now, if we put it in this form here, x plus i, y, so we'll do it over here. So in the form x plus i, y, this will be minus 3 plus root 3, like so, plus minus 3 root 3 minus 1 lot of i. And there we have it. That is the correct form for my two vertices b and c. Okay, so we've got this bit of information now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly clear it and then we'll jump on to part b. So part b, what we've got to work out now is the area, the exact area of the triangle DEF. And DEF that is represented by the points D, E, and F, which are the midpoints of the sides of the triangle A, B, C. So if I just draw out a rough sketch now, again, this isn't going to be perfect. I'm pretty bad at drawing. Uh, I was never good at art, so just a rough sketch. Okay. Just to help illustrate what's going on here. So we had our first one. This was 6 plus 2i. We'll call it there. That was the point A. What I've also got is my other two points. So I put these in on my calculator and already worked them out. But my minus 3 minus root 3 plus 3 root 3 minus 1i, this would be roughly up here. And then my other solution, so this would be my, um, which one would that be? That would be my minus 3 plus root 3 um, plus minus 3 root 3 minus 1. That's going to be down here. So that would be about here. Okay. So again, it's nothing perfect. And clearly, like it says in the original question, the center should be at the origin. Um, it's probably going to look slightly off the mind. It should be in, in you know, in, in reality. So, if I just draw it, okay, that's terrible. Uh, let me just undo that. Let's show you if we can get this right. Okay, that'll have to do. Okay, my triangle's pretty bad. Um, believe it or not, this is supposed to be an equilateral triangle. We'll just say that's it there. Okay, just to illustrate the point of what's going on. So, my midpoints now will be here, say, here and here. So what we're actually looking for is the area of this triangle here. This one in the middle. Okay, that's what we want. We want the area of that there. So we say that's D, and that's E, and that's F. We want this area here shaded. So how do we do this? Well, there's actually quite a lot of ways you can do this. You can do um, the shoelace method, if you've ever come across that, it's quite a nice way to do this question, but it's you know it's not a common method. Um, the way I'm going to do it is because it's an equilateral triangle, I'm going to use the formula here that you may be aware of, which is a equals root 3 over 4 a squared, Okay, where a is the length of one of my sides of this equilateral triangle. Another way you could do this would be to use a equals a half a, B, sine C, so just meet your trig. Now, obviously, this formula here is derived using this, so 
It's whichever um, equation you're more familiar with. This one's easier to work with. So if you've come across this and you know how to use it, which is pretty simple, it's just using the length of the, the equilateral triangle, then I'd just use this. It makes life really easy. So how do we work out A? Well, we need to work out the length from here to here. So this is 6 plus 2i. So 6 plus 2i. This one here, this was the one that I wrote down as. So it was minus 3 minus root 3. plus, in bracket, 3 root 3, minus 1i, okay? So I want to work out the length now from here, from a, to this point here, which we'll call b, okay? So, how do I do that? Well, nice and straightforward. We're just going to use the length formula, okay? So, this will be, so a to b, of the length a b, well, that's going to be equal to the square root, so it's going to be 6 minus this whole expression and then square the full thing. So let's try not to make a mistake. So it's going to be 6 minus minus 3 minus root 3 all squared. Okay, like so. Then we're going to add and then we're going to take off the imaginary part. Okay, so it's going to be plus bracket 2 minus and then this part here. So it's going to be minus bracket 3 root 3 minus 1 all squared. So that will give us this length here which we can call it A. So I've already put this all into my calculator. If you do this correctly what you should get is the square root of 120. Okay? Which you can write as 2 root 30 if you want. But using this formula it's probably just easier to keep it as root 120. Okay? So plug in this now. So this is my A. Plug in my A into this formula here we can get uh, an exact area of the triangle, DEF. So, root 3 over 4 times a squared, which a is a root, the square root of 120, the square root of 120, all squared. Well, this now will be square root of 3 over 4 times 120. So, square root of 3 over 4 times 120. This now will cancel 120 over 4, so that will give me 30. So, this is... 30 lots of root 3. Now, let's not get carried away. We haven't quite finished yet. And the reason why is because this length here, this A, is for my triangle A, B, C. Well, we've got these points here, the midpoints. Well, notice here now, we've split this up into a triangle. And it's in the middle of this, this original triangle we're working with. So, this is going to be a quarter of my full triangle. If any of you are um, fans of The Legend of Zelda, you'll notice this is like the Triforce. So we've got this, this triangle in the middle here. This is a quarter of my original triangle. So we need to now divide this by 4. Okay. So 30 root 3 over 4. Well, that'll just cancel to 15 root 3 over 2. And there we have it. That's the exact area of D, E, F. So area of D. F. And there we have it. Like I said, you could have done a few other methods, so you can use shoelace, um, you can use half A, B, C, and C. There's lots of different ways to do it. So quite a nice question overall, but there we go. It's fully complete.